If you offer to your users to log in with a combination of an email and a password, this is a must feature to have. You need to understand how to reset the password. This is what we are going to do with Next.js 14 and Superbase. Okay, so everything starts on the login page. We should have here an option to reset the password. So what we can do is to come back to our app here on the login page. And here we can set a new here, a new variable, reset password and set reset password. Set reset password, there we go. Use a state, which will be a Boolean. And we can set it up by default to false. So we can do that to false, there we go. And let's come back at the bottom. And what we can do here is instead of having all of this, and let's say that we would trigger only this if there is no reset password, or we could make also a new component. Let's say that. So here I need to wrap all of this inside another div or fragment. Otherwise we will have a problem. There we go. So once I got this, I can have also here an option on the bottom that says that if reset password, we can say that we would like to access to login. Otherwise, we would like to access to reset my password. Until now, really simple to understand. If we come back, we've got this button. And let's say that every time we click on it, we want to set reset password, okay, from the opposite of the value of reset password. Okay, until now, this is easy and we don't want to overload our on-click. So when we come back, if I click, we can see that we've got this. So this is cool. I can probably put a cursor, pointer, and on over text decoration to make people understand that they can actually text decoration. Text decoration, no, underline. Sorry for that. There we go. So when I pass my mouse, I can pass on here and there we go. So once I got this, what I can do simply is to use here my condition if reset password and we're going to have a div. We're going to keep the button here and I'm going to create a new function that will be called re, um, send reset password. Okay, we're going to have to create this function here on the top. So I'm going to go here, const send reset password, which will be an asynchronous function that we are going to develop just after. And here, instead of that, I'm going to have reset my password. There we go. Here, I'm going to have a grid of gap four, exactly like we should have here on the top grid, gap four, we should be good. And there we go. So I'm going to have the option to reset my password. What I can just do is to copy paste here the email. So I'm going to go down here and I would have my email and I have my reset password. I can also work on a success message that will say, hey, you successfully resetted your password. So as I did on the previous listen, I can put I to have my success set success by default on false. I'm going to come down here. I can put a message success check your email to reset your password. Okay, so here I got my here success, check your email to reset your password. I can put some still to it. BG green 100 text green 600 px2. And here let's put it a bit on rounded and we should be good. Okay, so here I just want to show it if it's success. Okay, so success and my, uh, there we go. So I can switch here and I got reset my password. Okay, so how do we reset the password? When we are going to send the email here, we are going to send actually directly to the email a confirmation of resetting the password. And if we go back here to our email template, We've got here a template to reset the password that we can change. We can update this template, put more information if we want to inside of it. Okay, so when we're going to click on this confirmation URL, we are supposed to arrive to um, a URL on our app to reset the password. So we miss here a view and this view 
is supposed to be here a reset view. So I'm going to use my reset page, which is here. I'm going to create a new file called page.tsx and I'm going to initiate my page, hello reset. So let's just try to go to see this view. And of course we are not logged in, so we don't get access to this view. So what we need to do, we need to come back to our source and our middleware. To do so, I need to rewrite here a condition before Superbase here. I don't need to get access to Superbase to uh, do it. What I want to do is to have a const and let's call it public URLs. And here I'm going to have what? I'm going to have the path that I'm going to create. So I'm going to call it reset. You can call it whatever. And once I have done this, I can say, hey, if public URLs include, and here include what? The rec.nextURL.passName, and here it's going to be our pass name, we can return a res. So here we got a list of URL that are going to be public. And if the request URL will be actually uh, the pass that we want to make public, we are going to just abort everything that is just after, okay? We are going to abort all of that. We are going to just return the res. So if I come back here, I'm going to try to do it again. There we go, we access to hello reset. So now we can come back to the page reset and we can actually create our reset page. So what I can do simply is to just copy paste login because I know that login is easy. And I'm going to have here confirm password instead of um, uh, email and password. So I'm going to have password and confirm password. So I can remove the, uh, the, all, the, all the JavaScript that I got, almost everything. Let's remove everything and let's start over. We're not going to keep anything. Just what we're going to keep here is our form text. So here I'm going to have enter your new password. Okay, and here we're gonna have password. And after I'm going to have exactly the same, but it's going to be confirm your new password. And here it's going to be confirm password. Okay, so when I come back, I got those two um, um, input here. And after that, I would like to have my div button. So I, I deleted it, but I should have keep it. It's dumb. Um, the button here to confirm uh, the, uh, the new password. So we're going to have here confirm, okay, and instead we're going to have confirm passwords with an S because we already got here the confirm password. So I'm going to type const confirm password, which will be an async function, and we will get this. Okay, so we got here what we need. The first thing that we're going to do is to check that if, so here I'm going to deconstruct my data here that we have up here, password and confirm password. If um, password is different from confirm password, we are going to return an alert. Confirm your, pa your password are not the same. Your password, passwords are incorrect. There we go. So let's just try. So here, let's say that I'm typing something and here I'm typing something and I click. We can't submit because we need to have the same password. Also, if I want to hide them, I can change their type and put password instead. So we see that we've got here this. A trick for that kind of um, uh, problem. Here, we're going to have a variable here that will be show password, use a state here, that will be boolean. And then we're going to have here false. There we go. And I would like to trigger here exactly like the one just after. So here, we would like to know if we got show password. See if we got show password is going to be text, otherwise it's going to be password. Okay. So <laughs> to trigger this here, you see that we don't see anything. I can have here just a div with a little text. Let's say that class text sm show passwords. And when we're going to click on it, we are going to use set show password, the opposite of show password. And again, we never overcharge. 
we go here. So I'm gonna add here a class cursor pointer hover underline exactly like before. So when I come back here, I can type my password and we can see here that I got a view on my passwords. Okay, we've got the reset page. Let's come back to login and let's go to send reset password. So what we're gonna do here, we are going to use a try catch again and we're gonna console log the error. We don't handle the error in here, but what we're gonna do, we are going to say const data error and we are going to wait again for superbase and we are going to call again the hoth package and we are going to call reset password for email and we need to put here data.email our email we could prevent also and after that we want to redirect so here we see that we've got a problem we're going to put reset data there we go we want to redirect so i'm going to write redirect to and this is where the magic happens I'm going to use here um, the path that I want to lead to. I can use my window.location.href and after that I can use reset because here I will already get my slash. After that I can set success to true and we should be good. It's time to try so I'm going to click on reset my password. I got an email to reset my password and if I look at the URL I'm going to copy the link address and we are going to look at it together to see what it gives at the end we've got here the url with reset so if i type here this url i arrive directly here with the reset code and you see this code will be used to identify your reset session okay let's finish here the confirm password okay simply here it's going to be data error and then await superbase Again, we are going to use Hoth and here we need to import Superbase, of course. There we go. We're going to use Hoth and we're going to use the update user function that will update the current user. So we've got a password here that will come from data.password. Okay, and we see here that we've got a problem. So we can put reset data again and we're going to say just after if reset data, reset data, there we go console log reset data or if there is an error we can console log the error so here at this step on the reset page that we've got in here we are going to um, reset the password okay so when we're going to receive the email we are going to be able to reset it directly is going to take care about everything okay let's go i made a mistake so if i click here we can see that my passwords are incorrect but if i click here again on confirm here we see that we've got our user back. We don't get any success message. We should have make one, but we've got our user back. What we would like to do is after the uh, reset here, I would like to redirect to the home page. So again, we can use our router. Remember, we got our router and we can say uh, const router. We are going to put it on the top. Use router. There we go. We're going to just copy paste and put it here. There we go. And then what we would like to do is to do router push. And here we are supposed to push to home. As you have seen, to reset a password, it's really easy, especially with Superbase in two functions and two screens, you are able to give the opportunity to your user to reset their password.